Johnny Utah! Who cares? Are you tired of not getting any respect from the other surface in the lineup because you keep on nose diving and face planting every time you try and catch a wave? Yeah, well, you're not alone. So uh, stick with me here. In today's episode, we are going to be covering my three most important tips to prevent you from nose diving so you can catch more waves, gain more respect from the other surfers, and uh, look pretty darn cool doing so, but most importantly, have a lot more fun while you're out there. So without any further ado, let's go catch some waves. You. <laughs> So my first tip is to angle your takeoff in the direction you want to be surfing the wave. This is crucial because when you're on a longboard, which most of us are as new beginners trying to catch waves, if you're pointing your longboard directly at the shore, the chances are that as the wave gets steeper and it starts to peak and break, your nose is going to dive under the water and you will have a catastrophic takeoff. And I would recommend taking off at around a 45 degree angle. That's a lot, so practice it. My second tip for you longboarders and beginners out there is to start paddling further out back. So be further out back so you have a longer time to progressively get more speed on the board and possibly pop up before the wave even peaks. This way, even if you are paddling with your board facing towards shore, you're able to make a bottom turn and get going down the line before the wave breaks. And my third and final tip here for you today is to pop up further back on the board. This will also help to slow the board down so that you're actually able to uh, be higher up on the wave, which actually puts you in a better position to be in the critical part of the wave where you can actually learn how to carve the wave better instead of being stuck down on the bottom where there's not a lot of speed and you're getting pushed around by the white water. But hey, Nose diving is part of surfing, and even the best surfers in the world nose dive. And you know why? It's because they're pushing their limits, and you need to push your limits. And sometimes when you're pushing your limits, you're going to fail, and nose part dives are part of the game. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of practicing. You need to practice a lot. Try these three tips here. There's things that I'm figuring out, because as you can notice by this video here, I'm also a beginner myself, just figuring it out and uh, having a blast doing so. So yeah, I hope these three tips help you out. And thank you guys for watching today. If you're enjoying these vlogs, then please be sure to hit subscribe and uh, check out this vlog next. We'll see you all guys all next week. You.